Praise the Lord. Greetings to you in Jesus' precious name. I would like to take this time to talk about the purpose of pain and suffering in our lives. Yes, we all go through pain and suffering in life. But remember that God allows pain and suffering in our lives for a reason and He also allows it for a season. God is fully aware of everything that you and I go through in our lives. In the Bible we see in Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 9, In all their affliction He was afflicted and the angel of His presence saved them. Remember that in your times of affliction and distress, God also understands and feels your pain. He sees your tears and heartache. In the book of Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 33, we see that God doesn't willingly allow suffering or grief to anyone. Yes, my dear friend, our God is a good God and He wants to do good in your life. But when He allows pain and suffering, He has a purpose. In the Bible, we see a man named Job who lived an upright and righteous life. In spite of the good life that Job lived, he went through huge suffering in his life. When Job went through suffering and pain in life, he never questioned or cursed God. In fact, he praised God for the situations that God allowed in his life. Because Job stood the time of testing, God has rewarded him and given him a double portion of all the blessing that he has lost in his life. Remember, my friend, when you stand the time of testing and trials, God rewards you and gives you back joy for all the sorrow that you have experienced. Job chapter 42 verse 5, we see that Until now my ears have heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Yes, before Job went through suffering, he could only hear God, he only heard God's words. But after he went through suffering, his walk with the Lord has deepened and his relationship with God has become stronger. And he said, Lord, I could see you through my trials and sufferings. Remember, my friend, that God wants you to draw closer to him. God wants you to walk closer with him while you suffer in your life. There was a woman who wanted to see the process, how a silver is refined. So she had an appointment with a silversmith. She went and sat with him. So the silversmith held a piece of silver over flames and he said, I would hold it over the flames where the fire is the hottest. And then he said, I would watch it very carefully. I would just sit here and watch carefully as the silver is refined. So the woman asked him, so how do you know exactly when to stop this process of refining? He said, when I can see my image, that's exactly when I know that a silver is refined 100%. Remember, my friend, that God allows trials and testing for a purpose. It is to refine us and to make and mold us into His likeness. When He sees His image in us, that's exactly what God wants from you and me. Remember that the flames of fire are not meant to destroy silver, but only to refine it. God allows trials and testing in our lives not to destroy us, but to actually refine us and make and mold us into His likeness. Even as you are going through, pain and suffering in your life, remember my friend that this pain and suffering wouldn't last forever. We have a God who liberates us, who releases us from the pain and suffering and He gives us joy for all the sorrow that we experience in life. Would you please close your eyes? I would like to pray with you for a moment. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord because you are a good God and because you are a great God. Even as your people are going through pain and suffering in their lives, I pray that you might give them the right perspective for pain and suffering and that you might help them and be their comfort, Lord. Help us to be molded into your likeness and let your image be reflected in and through our lives. In Jesus' most precious and wonderful name I pray. Amen. Dear friends, I hope you're blessed by this video. If you are blessed, don't forget to share it with your family and friends. May God be with you and God bless you.